Thank you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for tonight's main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Black Mama's ring walks have been known as circus spectaculars. But yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. Kid Dynamite's making his way to the ring. And I know you're used to seeing many ring walks where guys are really jacked up. This isn't one of them. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. And now the ref gets involved and warns him for headbutting. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Back and forth exchange. Solid straight right hand. Black Mamba's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. And yet another right hand lands. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Kid Dynamite's gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Halfway through round number one. Hooks on the inside. Unable to connect by Kid Dynamite. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Black Mamba's combination punching is working well here. Blocks the headshot. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Phenomenal pace being set Hands here. Down. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. Black Mamba's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Goes up top with a right hand. That's the end of round one. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Black Mamba's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we could say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Kid Dynamite's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Scoring well with that hook by Black Mamba. Nice two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Good uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Yeah. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Good job staying away from the danger there. over that hook upstairs takes one but gives one good work by kid dynamite 
Last 10 seconds. Three minutes gone by in this round. Black Mamba's going to have to deal with a cut here now, Teddy. You can see that they're already working on it, but what's the one message you got to get across to your fighter when he's cut? Well, the first thing you got to do is have his trust. You got to tell him, look, we'll do our job, you do your job. Go out there, act like a pro. This was always in the making. This was always in the script that to be a champion, sooner or later, you're going to have to pass a test. This is your test. Go out there, act like you don't have a cut. Let us take care of that job. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Kid Dynamite's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Headshot lands, was a hook. Good smooth work by Black Mamba. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Parries that punch intended for the head. Black Mamba's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Now, this is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Black Mamba's out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight, but they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Keep moving, keep moving. Get to Look at that combination by Black Mamba. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Kid Dynamite. Teddy, it's hard to believe that he'll be able to get anything going if he doesn't throw more jabs. Uh, it's kind of like trying to I'm speak the English language I'm without knowing the alphabet. I mean, <laughs> the jab is ABC. Plus shot, it was the overhand left. Kid Dynamite's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Smart punch right there. The uppercut worked. Not precise at all by Kid Dynamite. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Pace yourself. Little head hunting with the left. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. Back to the body. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And, Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear-cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision.
Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Black Mamba. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. A well-placed left hand up top. Good biting, snapping shot by Kid Dynamite. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Locks away that headshot. How about that left hand? Keep Black moving. Mamba's defense is paying off now. Hit Dynamite's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Solid left hand to the head. And we come to the end of the round. Black Mamas, well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. That's a good left hand by Kid Dynamite. Black Mamba's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. A headshot blocked. Targeting a left hand to the body. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Kid Dynamite. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Black Mama is able to land a good, solid left hand. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Keep working the jab. Missed the target with that hook. Black Mamba's scoring with that right hand. How is he taking these kind of shots and just dismissing them? What a chin on this guy. Yeah, well, what a neck on him. Look at that neck. I mean, it's about 19 inches. That is the shock absorber. But the rest of it is he's seeing it. He has good vision. He sees the shots coming, and he's making up his mind. They're not taking him anywhere. Comes right back at him with a left hand. He just missed that shot up top. All right, come on, let's finish this. Keep going. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Don't stay in one spot. And now another left. Good flush shot upstairs. Double jab, double jab. Black Mama's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. You got A sound shot. combination by Black Mamba. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. There's too many punches. Hands up. Able to dismiss that body shot. Black Mamba's just looking to get it done on the back end here, Teddy. Yeah, he is. He's just waiting to set a trap. You know, he's trying to get his opponent to walk in where he can make a miss and bang, spring it on. Right to the head with that right. Nice work, the left hand to the head. All 
offense by Kid Dynamite. a stinging right hand by Kid Dynamite. Let's see some defense. And he tried to nap him. Solid shot, the left hand came. Solid. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. And that's the end of round seven. Let's take time to look at Teddy's scorecard. Through seven rounds, you can see Kid Dynamite's up, but will it stay that way? Only a few rounds to go. That's a well-scored left hand by Black Mamba. Black Mamba's got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition their fighter's in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. Close the Comes right back at him with a left hand. from this. He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down?